Yeah, hey Nick, um, interesting convergences going on, if you don't mind me saying that, Nick. Um, you know, I had just posted uh, the, uh, that uh, chart link from Nathan's over to uh, Fresno Dan commenting at Na on Naked Capitalism on uh, George Washington's latest posting, um, uh, Fictional Reserve Banking. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about about what this chart is talking about, which is the unproductivity of money. Okay, and I'm going to ask you, Nick, to take another thought about something that I've been posting for a long time: how debt money goes broke. Okay, this is the pictograph. Okay, of the people of today thinking about and considering and watching the manifestation of the debt money system going broke. Um, when I when I saw that Nathan had posted that chart uh, a day or two ago, um, I was like, "Oh, this is great," you know, because and I said to myself, "You know, imagine Bernanke going before Congress and." Uh, and I'm going to say Grayson, you know, because he's one of the few guys. You know, even Ron Paul, you know, saying, uh, Mr. Bernanke, I have a chart here, and I wonder if you could explain to me how we get out of this predicament. Because you know why? What you said is exactly true. Um, you may recall when we were having a disagreement a while back and you were saying about the sanctity of contracts and I said bullshit there ain't gonna be any sanctity of contracts it's all that non money okay all those structured investment vehicles Nick that are taking the money that's being created and paying the debt service making the debt service payments on all of that all of those toxic assets are continuing to do that and are continuing to do that now for 18 months since we really should have and would have had the crash uh, had not you know Paulson and Bernanke uh, intervened okay and the crash you know would have been the wake-up call you know that would have been the two by four smashing us in the head and and us having to realize that guess what there is something really fatally flawed about the debt money system Okay. Somehow, Nick, I think you know, the debt money system is fatally flawed. It's fatally flawed. Uh, Nathan's one of the biggest commenters and, on, on it. And, you know, less so uh, from my understanding of it, my lack of understanding of it, excuse me, of, of, of Denninger's, uh, you know, appreciation of it. But, yeah, those toxic assets have to go, Nick. They took the money supply and created nothing but debt sponges, okay? Let's create a debt sponge over here, and there'll be a debt payment stream that will make you rich as long as that debt stream payment stream, and it'll do nothing else. We'll create another job. I've talked about this before, Nick. And that stuff has to go, and if you read, especially read William Black's latest postings you know the regulator from the from the FSLIC crisis uh, saying how the financialization of the economy has resulted where uh, something that increased by well, somewhere something like six or eight to ten times the amount of profits in financial services than ordinarily throughout history we've had. How have they done that? Through gimmickry and greenspanism, okay? That's how they've done it. Now, we're in this predicament. The debt money system is broke. Broke, as in insolvent broke. And the graph is indicating it's broke. The more debt we create, the less GDP we create. So the debt to GDP 
ratio has to be bad and only through government intervention can they even keep it appearing to be somewhat stable so like I'm saying Nick this is to me we're starting to see a convergence of ideas around the fact that the debt money system is broke broken and insolvent and needs to be replaced and just to be clear while all those trillions of dollars in toxic assets taken a 75 percent haircut which is what again Dr. William Black says they need to take would improve and it's part of the improvement of the uh, uh, restoring some some soundness and stability to the system because why because all of the money that's now going to make those debt service payments that are doing absolutely no good would be going to making debt service payments on things that really matter like you were talking about like mortgages and cars and school loans and things like that and by the way that's where you were not quite correct about that I feel Nick okay <clears throat> the stream of payments is going towards the toxic assets and continuing to go towards the toxic assets not towards productive things in the economy. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, again, if you follow Nathan's, you know, line of thinking, uh, it's a flaw. It's the fatal flaw of debt money. So we need a new money system. So uh, so let's, uh, and, and so then we should be talking, and that's why I keep saying to the, the Mises people, let's get it out here. Let's get the progressive money system out here and the Austrian money system proposals out here. We're at that point in the road. We've gone far enough down the road. See, I, I say we have, you know, we've gone this far and that's why I'm here. We've gone this far. The debt money system is behind us. It's destroyed our belief in our institutions. Government, corporate, and we're going to go ahead with something. What's it going to be? Basically, it's going to be government or is it going to be corporate? So anyway, we need to be talking about what comes next. What comes next? Um, I'm not going to get into the shardless thing here because I still owe some comments on the other video. But I'm really glad that you posted this, Nick. Read it again. The debt money system is broke. When the amount of new money being created is insufficient to make the interest payments on the money that's already out there. Debt defaults happen first at the margin, you know, the riskier ones. And naturally with us, because we set up adjustable rate short-term mortgages, uh, that's where it's going to happen, okay? And then because we built up on top of that, on top of those adjustable rate mortgages and the mortgage industry, we build up mortgage-backed securities, and then we match those with another set, asset-backed securities, and then we started taking bets on whether or not those could be paid, and those are the bets that are out there, Nick, okay? The collateralized debt obligations, the credit default swaps, all the structured investment vehicles and derivatives, those are all out there. Toxic assets, taking well-being from our society it's got to be changed Nick it's got to be changed and you know this is the time to do it now, this is the time to be talking about it what is Bernanke's answer to that question Mr. Bernanke where do we go from here how do we reverse this when, in the debt money system see I don't think Grayson's smart enough to ask him in the debt money system Okay, I don't think he is, but he knows that the banksters have caused this problem, and he would be ab about doing something about that. Convergence, Nick. Powerful convergence. Thanks. <laughs>